What do you mean you would have stayed? Well, if something terrible would have happened to Sheridan, of course I would never leave your side. And thank goodness nothing did happen. It certainly would have superseded everything else. What? Would have su superseded everything else? What are you talking about? Where are you going? Taking the phone call that woke me up with my father. The negotiations have broken down and I have to leave town to take care of it. Gwen, you promised me that you were home for good. That you weren't going to go back to work until after the honeymoon. I know, I know, I promise. And Ethan, I had every intention of keeping that promise. But you know how hard I've been working on the merger. And the woman I hired to take my place just isn't up to the job. My father is completely frantic. The company's future depends on this project. I just can't let my family down. I can't believe you're doing this. Darling, look on the bright side. At least we'll get to have an extra long romantic honeymoon. Well, you worried about letting your father down. What about letting me down? I mean, don't I count? Of course you do. Of course you count. Are you saying you can't get along without me before the wedding? I can't. Ethan, this isn't like you. What's wrong? Did something happen while I was away that you're not telling me? Well, as a matter of fact, something did. I know I have said this to you before, Whitney. But this time, I mean it. I have no choice but to give up on Ethan for good. I mean, time has run out for me. Gwen is here to stay until the wedding. I am so sorry, Teresa. I do know how badly this hurts you. It's been such a sad day for everyone. I mean, you lost Ethan. Crystal lost her life. And Chad lost out on the chance to find out who his real parents are. I feel so sorry for Chad. And for you. Me? Why? You won't admit it, Whitney, but I know you. And if Chad is hurting, you're hurting too because you like him. I can tell by the way you keep looking at him. 